Is premium economy worth it? To find out, join me on a 14 hour flight from London to Tokyo. We're flying with Japan Airlines. First, on the way out, it's economy, and the way back is premium. I'll compare the seats, the food, and what it's like so you can decide if it's worth splashing out to upgrade. There'll also be a quick internal flight from Tokyo to Fukuoka. And a special perk with Japan Airlines Premium is you get to use the lounge before you fly. It was so good, I can't wait to show you. We're flying to Japan. It's actually my first time flying with Japan Airlines, JAL, I think it's supposed to say JAL. But I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm looking forward to it. Today we're in economy class, we're at the back of the plane. We're on a 7879 and we've got two seats to ourselves quite near the back of the plane. The configuration is two, four, two. The seats seem pretty comfortable and the leg room's not too bad. It's the sort of situation that helps when you're quite small like we are. So today we're flying in economy class and on the way back we're flying in premium economy. Premium always seems to be quite a lot more expensive so we're going to find out if it's worth it. It's quite a long flight. It's supposed to be 14 hours from the UK, from London to Tokyo, Haneda. It actually says on the screen it's about 13 and a half hours today, so it's not quite as long as they said it was going to be. Here's the TV screen. It's not a bad size. It's good you can't see what's on the screen of the person next to you. No spoilers if they're watching the film before you do. These are the earphones they give you in economy class. I usually find these sorts of earphones aren't that good, so I'd really recommend bringing your own earphones. The best sorts to bring are noise cancelling, so it um, removes some of the noise from the flight. And even if you're not watching anything, it helps sometimes to have them on to block out the plane noise so you can sleep more easily. And here's the pillow. And to get a blanket, it's quite fleecy. That was very quick, we just had our drinks and they brought my meal already. The good thing about when you order a meal for a special diet is you always get your meal before everyone else. I've got a sticker on the seat for my vegetarian meal and there's one on the table as well. It's like cheesy pasta with vegetables. We've got a roll, some salad and fruit salad. Here's the regular meal. Phil's got the chicken in basil sauce with gnocchi and I can't help noticing the regular meal gets more dishes than the vegetarian meal. <laughs> He's got some salads, bean sprouts and odin and shortbread and they're just bringing some miso soup. Surprise extra dessert. We get ice cream and hot green tea. Green tea was an additional option alongside regular black tea and coffee. Halfway through the flight they brought us snacks. Phil gets a green tea dorayaki and because I ordered a vegetarian meal I get a banana. <laughs> this seems unfair. <laughs> We've got six hours to go in the flight. It is feeling a bit tough because we left London in the morning we're not really sleepy and we arrive in Tokyo in the morning as well so we've got to sleep on the flight somehow. I think I've slept for tiny bits on and off but not that much. So let's have a look at what's on the entertainment system. There's actually a pretty good selection of films, some quite new ones from this year and lots of old favourites so there's a lot to watch, there's 27 screens of this. There's also some music and audio, I particularly like this. Easy listening, cat cafe, relaxation music, meow. <laughs> Things to help you relax. There's playlists of songs. J-pop hits of the 90s. And you can have a look at the flight map to see where you are. We're somewhere over China, I think. Still a long way to go. Here's my breakfast. I never really like the breakfast they give you on the plane. It's not the sort of thing I can really eat in the morning. I've got a roll, some fruit, that's fine. It's an omelette, mushroom, tomato and hash brown. And here's the regular breakfast. We'll get some omelette with hollandaise sauce, vanilla yoghurt, fruit and a croissant. The remains of which are there. <laughs> It was rainy when we arrived in Tokyo. The weather wasn't so great this time, unlike last year when it was lovely t-shirt weather. In early springtime, it can go either way. 
Anyway, next we're taking an internal flight from Tokyo to Fukuoka, also with Japan Airlines. We had to transfer from Terminal 3 to Terminal 1. I was so tired. I didn't sleep much on the flight. I don't think this was Japan Airlines' fault. It wasn't uncomfortable at all, but it was a daytime flight and I just wasn't tired enough to sleep. We landed at 8.45 a.m. Japan time. That actually went very smoothly. We had to get a bus from the plane to get to the arrivals um, place. Um, <laughs> I'm very tired at the moment. But from there, it took about 20 minutes to get through customs, immigration and passport control. And then from that point, it took about 20 minutes to get to the domestic terminal, to get our domestic flight. We just followed the signs for uh, transfers to a domestic flight and there was like a mini check-in desk and then a mini security, which it was really quiet this morning. So we just went straight through. There was barely a queue at all. And then we had to get a bus to Terminal 1 to get our flight to Fukuoka. And here we are at the departure lounge. It's quite spacious in Terminal 1 and there are various shops and cafes. Oh, it's finished now. <laughs> this guy was driving itself. The internal flight was two hours and I fell asleep before we'd even taken off. Now, fast forward to the trip home and we're taking the Kaikyu KQ line from Shinagawa Station to Haneda Airport, which takes about 20 minutes. It's a busy station, so there are lines on the platform showing you where to queue up for each train. This time we're flying premium economy, also with Japan Airlines. A nice little perk is a dedicated check-in desk, so you get a shorter queue to check in, but it wasn't particularly busy anyway. With premium, you also get express luggage, so your bags come out sooner at arrivals. A benefit of flying premium economy with JAL is you get to go in the lounge. So right now we're at Haneda Airport Terminal 3, and we're making our way to the Sakura Lounge. Japan Airlines does have a first class lounge and that's a different one from the one we're going to, the Sakura Lounge. It's unusual for a lounge to be included with premium, so this was a luxury treat. You can go in either the Sakura Lounge or the Skyview Lounge, which is on the floor above. We went for the Skyview because it sounds more fun and there's big windows with views of the planes. It's actually really calm in here, there's lots of space, it's quiet and relaxed and the food selection is better than I thought it would be. There's quite a few things and lots of drinks you can just help yourself to. There's a buffet included in the lounge with pastries, salads, miso soup, and a few warm dishes. Here's herb chicken with couscous, salmon pasta, chicken nuggets, mapo tofu, and Korean beef. There's an excellent selection of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and some snacks like jelly beans, biscuits, and nuts. Most importantly, in here is a glass of Picari sweat. I was particularly impressed with this wet towel dispensing machine. I've never seen one of these before. The beer glasses are even chilled for you in the fridge. And look how it tilts the glass as it pours. Got a selection of salads. These are some vegetable crisps and ginger ale. I've got a mini taiyaki, some apple tart, and just a little bit of sake. They have a machine that dispenses it, like a sake vending machine. I don't know if you can really see out the window with the reflections, but you can see the planes out here getting ready to take off. The lounge is quite large with a choice of seating. It's quiet with a very calming atmosphere. This is nice, central area. And here on the table, there's charging points, USB and Japanese plug. There are a few booths to make phone calls and because it's Japan, there's a fax machine. Through there's a section with relaxing chairs. That seems to be the most popular place to sit. Tea and coffee. There's another drink station over here with all spirits, Baileys. All this is free and just out for you to help yourself to. I guess they know people aren't gonna go wild before a long haul flight. It's a Friday evening, very late. Our flight's at 1 a.m. That was a really good lounge. I'm really impressed that was included with premium economy. It wasn't even that busy. Maybe there wasn't a huge choice of food, but there was enough, but I enjoyed having the salad. And they had mini taiyaki, and the selection of drinks was excellent. So now I'm feeling nice and relaxed, ready. No, I'm not ready for a 14 hour flight. 15. 
15. This is a long one. <laughs> there was lots of space. I thought because it's included with premium economy and some economy tickets, it might be really crowded and noisy, but there were plenty of places to sit and it just felt really relaxed. It was clean and everything was in perfect condition. Japan Airlines is part of One World, so if we'd gone premium the other way, we would have been able to use the British Airways lounge at Heathrow. And we're on the plane. Today we're in premium economy and you can immediately tell the seats are a little bit wider. We've got a bit more room, there's more leg room, the seat feels more substantial. We've got a wider armrest and you get quite a few more extra bits as, uh, as gifts. These are the headphones they give you in premium economy. They feel a lot chunkier and more like proper headphones, so I'll be trying them out and they are noise cancelling. This seatbelt is really chunky. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's kind of leather and really padded premium economy seatbelt. The blanket is, I think, pretty similar to the economy blanket. I think the pillow is a little bit softer. Feels quite nice. Feels a little bit more like a just a small proper pillow. And you get slippers. And it comes with a little shoehorn as well. Do they fit you, Phil? Uh, just about. I'm a nine, nine and a half. And I'm a little bit over the edge. Oh yeah, your heel's hanging over the edge there. <laughs> we also get this little goodie bag of gifts that has a moisture mask, which at first I thought would be an eye mask. It's actually a face mask that has a kind of baby wipe wet towel that you put inside. I guess because the air is quite dry on a plane, maybe that helps. There's a toothbrush, earplugs and an eye mask. I did kind of miss having an eye mask on the way here. You don't get any of this in economy. So I think the um, entertainment interface is the same as in economy, but the screen is slightly bigger. I did a hand measurement before, didn't I? We've also got a little bit more space to put our stuff. They just brought around some bottles of water. There's a little cup holder here. And the table feels quite substantial. It's quite large, actually. Down here, there's a foot rest. I can only just reach that, actually. <laughs> The really great thing about these seats is you can recline them without annoying the person behind you. The back of the seat stays in the same place and it's the actual seat that moves forward. I really like that setup because I always want to recline but I feel bad about squashing the person behind me because you know how the seat back comes back and especially when you're eating the table and the screen are then like 10 centimeters from your face. So you press the button and <laughs> my seatbelt's done up so I couldn't do it. Oh, <laughs> you can recline quite far back, pretty comfortable. And there's also a little leg recliner, which you don't normally get in economy. So together with that and the footrest, hopefully should be comfortable. And we also get these reading lights. I think you could have something like that on without annoying everyone when they have the overhead lamps, everyone can see them. And we've also got a little divider, so um, I could have some privacy from Phil. <laughs> it's just a slightly larger, more substantial seat. But my slippers are, they're actually the right size for me. I'm UK size 6 or EU 39. It actually feels really nice to be wearing slippers on the plane. <laughs> a lot more cosy. Here's the choice of drinks. There are two drinks that are special for premium economy that you can't have in economy. That's sparkling wine and Japanese shochu. I'm going to go for the Sky Tone peach and grape mix. And here's the menu. So on the way from London to Tokyo, we got a meal, then we got a snack, and then we got breakfast before arrival. But on the way from Tokyo to London, you only get one meal by the looks of it. So before it said they serve the meal about one hour after takeoff. And on this flight, they serve the meal about eight hours after takeoff. I am a little bit worried about that because eight hours into the flight, I will hopefully be asleep. Will we be hungry on the flight? Should we have eaten more in the lounge? We'll see. This is an unusual schedule that I haven't seen before on a Japan flight, but it actually worked out okay. Premium economy is quite a small cabin. There's only five rows of seats, I think, and the arrangement is two, three, two. So there are much fewer seats in a row and that's why everyone's got more room. Oh, it's going dark for takeoff. We've just taken off and they brought around some snacks. Phil gets a fruit smoothie and an anpan, a red bean paste bun. They said that I get a special snack because I booked a vegetarian meal. 
I'm not sure why because I can eat both of those things but I get a special one. For my veggie option I've got a roll it looks like it's got some vegetables and salad inside. Sorry about the spooky lighting they turned the lights off straight away as soon as we took off I think because this is a night flight. We left Tokyo at 1am and when we arrive in London it's going to be the same day but also the morning, I think about 8 or 9 a.m. That is quite a good time to have a flight because it means you get the whole day in Japan and then you have the flight at night time. It's always annoying when you fly in the morning because then you have to get another night in a hotel and it always feels like a bit of a waste. Also, hopefully it should be easier to sleep because we've been out and about all day around Tokyo. I just tried out the headphones they give you and they're okay. They've got a little switch to turn the noise cancellation on and off and you can hear the difference. They are better than the headphones they give you in economy, but I'm still going to use my own, I think. It's dinner time, it's part way through the flight and I've got my meal. This is the vegetarian lacto-ovo meal. I've got some vegetables, some pumpkin. It looks like it might be a cheese omelette underneath that. A bread roll, some salad with tofu, some vegetables, they look like sort of ratatouille style vegetables, some fruit, and this is nice, some yuzu sorbet. It's still dark outside. I have been sleeping a bit on and off. This seat is a lot more comfortable than the economy seat. The recline is really good and there's a lot of leg room. I keep waking up and thinking, what's that noise? And it's the noise of the plane. Here's the regular meal. It comes with various side dishes and there's a little salad. Hill's chosen the pork rice bowl. It was that all butter scented chicken. Oh, it's got some rencon in the back. The meals in premium are the same as in economy. To be honest, they were quite plain, but the ice cream and sorbet were nice. With the veggie meals, you do get quite a lot of salad and fruit, but it's good to be healthy. Phil found there was quite a lot of food with the standard meal, and the miso soup was a nice touch. And you get chopsticks as well as a knife and fork. They just made an announcement saying we'll be landing in one hour. So I hadn't looked at the time left to go on the flight at all this time. I heard that's a good strategy when you're on a really long flight. So I was so happy to hear that. I had no idea how long we had left to go. We've almost made it through 13 hours, 40 minutes. I think I must have slept quite a bit. This has been a lot more comfortable and easier to sleep than the way out. But that could be because this was a night flight. Oh wow, we're actually over Scotland. I'm so surprised. We went over Greenland, the Arctic, Alaska. It's been a round the world trip. We landed back in London at 6.30 a.m. before it was even sunrise. So that's premium versus economy with Japan Airlines. Flight prices change a lot throughout the year and I didn't keep a note of the price for just economy, but the total for two people was £2,657 and that includes the internal flight from Tokyo to Fukuoka. Premium is often quite a bit more expensive than economy and it's not super luxurious like business class or anything, but it is more comfortable and less cramped. I really like the slippers and the reclining seat and leg rest were really good. The service was excellent in both, I've got nothing to complain about. Other airlines tend to give you an upgraded meal in premium. With Japan Airlines it's the same as economy but the lounge is a really good perk that you wouldn't usually expect and it was such a relaxing way to chill before the flight. Let me know what you think in the comments and there'll be lots more Japan videos from this trip every Thursday. There's so much coming up. I'll see you then.